hello everyone, back with another video. This one will be how to forge a Mjolnir pendant. Uh, if anyone doesn't know what Mjolnir is, it's the uh, hammer that belongs to the God of Thunder. The pendant uh, was usually worn by people uh, back in Scandinavia quite a long time ago. I mean, probably still people wear it today. Uh, it was kind of like a symbol of strength. And this is a project I've never done before but I want to give it a go. I've seen somebody do it online and I just thought I would just give it a go. I, mean, I don't quite have the right um, uh, the right equipment to do it because he used a certain, uh, a certain um, machine, but this I'm just going to try and do it with the anvil the best I possibly can. Uh, I do believe I can do it, it just it might just take a bit more, a bit more work. Um, it will require the vice and I'll have to move over there. And but that, that, that should be any problem. I'll just move the tripod over to the vice when I need to. Uh, I'll show you guys step by step now. But first I start on the edge and isolate the material. Just enough, just so I know. isolate the material a little bit and this will be the hammer part. I'll put it in the vise and hammer down when it's ready, but right now I'm just going to draw back a handle on this on this face. The, the one that Thor uses in the MCU, which a lot of people kind of recognize uh, universally in Mjolnir, uh, this one's quite different, it's more like a triangle and you'll see once it's done, but there's a lot of different versions of Mjolnir throughout the mythology, but it's all roughly the same. But the actual MCU Thor, I might do in the future, but it takes a lot longer, because I need to punch um, and drift a hole in a square bit of square bit of bar, uh, and also create a little bit of a ring at the end so I can put on a necklace or something. But other than that, it takes quite a long time to do that, so it's not just hammering, and I wanted to do something that was just hammering just for now, and then future, I'll show you guys how to do a uh, punch and drift, and I mean, that's a good way of showing you guys is to do maybe something you might, be, you might care about, but here I go again. <coughs> What I'm going to do is not use the edge anymore. I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to use the back of the anvil, so the round bit. I might just try and uh, isolate it a bit more evenly. And you, you'd notice I was turning it over um, occasionally. That was because I didn't want too much of the step on one side. But that might actually prevent it if I use this, because if I use the rounding hammer, which is somewhere over there, actually, yeah, I could uh, get an even up and down force. I'll show you guys that. So you use the round on the round rather than the square on the round or the square on the edge. Right, let's see if this works.
too bad, actually. That actually worked better than expected. Uh, to try and get that sharp angle, though, I'm now going to go to the edge and stand on this side, or stand on my own side over here, and I'll try and get those sharp corners for the transition from the handle before I draw it down any further. Uh, and after that, it should be shaping the head on the vise. That should be easy. That should be the easiest step of this. It's still warming up. I might use the bigger hammer actually. That's this over there, for the one I got from college. That's a. It's pretty hefty. Though. It's, it's three pounds. It's not a four pound hammer, but I don't own a four pound hammer. We, we don't actually have a four pound in the in the shop. But it's not like we we need it. I mean, the stuff we're doing, we they, they really don't need a four pound hammer. I've always thought them to be inefficient too, like they use too much energy for what you're actually doing. Three pound might be a bit better. This is a, I'm actually not sure what this is, but it's a good weight. It's, it's kind of medium. Right, so I turn back to the square, try and isolate that. Yeah, actually over this edge would be better. Even though the corners aren't as sharp as I want them to be, I can do that on the vise. Just me upsetting it down onto it should get those sharp corners. I'm going to draw down this handle a bit more, then I'll try and go to it. The symbol of Mjolnir via mythology isn't the handle is quite wide and short. It doesn't usually have the kind of thin stem that you see on the, on the MCU version, nor does it have a long handle. The story behind it is the fact that it's a shorter handle is because a dwarf made it, but he made it in proportions to his own body. But uh, once Mjolnir was then made, uh, uh, Thor um, uh, used it to defeat his enemies, the giants mostly. It's starting to take shape now, look. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut it off. And you may ask, uh, oh, I just realised the camera wasn't quite positioned well, was it? No, it wasn't. I'll move you guys back so you can see a little bit better. But the reason for them, I've got a longer piece at the start and I don't just cut it straight away is because I can actually hold it uh, without the need for tongs that's my, that's the main reason uh, so whether you know without burning myself and it's a, your hands are your best tongs really because if you if you can use your hands just do it your hands are the best thing you have for that <laughs> right you, you 
guys already know how to do this if you watched the previous video, but I'll show you again. Just At this point, you do need to use tongs because it's just too small. I will do a few extra pieces, like I'll, um, I might chisel little markings into it. I do have an engraving chisel, so I might maybe ch uh, chisel some little Nordic runes on it or something. But I'll do that later, and I think... I'll put the picture and the thumbnail will probably be the refined version, the shined up version. I haven't got enough time, you see, to do all that on video, but uh, I'll show you how to forge it. But the picture and the thumbnail should be what it looks like, uh, the final picture anyway. All shined up and refined at the edges, enough to kind of be, be attractive and yeah, not be any rough forgings. Remember, take out your... Uh, Take out your harding whenever you can. It's dangerous if you leave it in. Oh yeah, the tongs, obviously. Find this end just a little bit. Try and recenter it too. But it's probably better if I wait until I until I finish the. I'll line it that off once I'm done. Right now, I just want a handle. That looks good, that looks good. Now, here's the interesting bit. Bring you guys over to the vise. I'll lift you guys up. And you get to see what it looks like. Uh, I'm trying to think of which direction would be best. Yeah, if I stick it in that way, I'd have the hammer following the kind of rounded edge of the uh, of the vice, and I'll try and make it have a bit of a point to it. So I'll hit down on two sides. See that? Almost ready. Never mind, I lied, it's not almost ready. <laughs> but yeah, you, if you can use the vice, it's a good thing to, to do for like scrolls and all that, but this is, um, this will be good. Instead of me just sitting, sitting on like the, the, the anvil, trying to upset it one way and then turn it over the other, this is just best just to put it down, use the edges to your advantage, and it should get a sharp edge as well where this part is right here. So, this is what I'm most interested in actually. Right. So I'll stick it in. There we go. It will suck out all the heat, so I'll put it down as low as I can. Squeeze it as tightly as I can. Get the hammer. 
slammer down. back to the flat and then flatten it, but I'll do that off screen. Hold on, I'll just quickly do that. There you go. You can see that. So if you look up on, hold on, let me just try and focus that camera. Let me place this down. If you search up Mjolnir, but you, the traditional Mjolnir, so Thor's hammer, try to focus that, you'll see that kind of shape. Some are much longer than that, some are shorter. Uh, some have thinner handles, but I might just leave it at that to be honest. I think I'll go for one more heat. In the vice mostly, so put you guys back there. Nothing too special, just a few refines. I might try and draw down a little bit further just so it's a bit longer, so it looks more like a, a wider hammer. And I think that's usually how it, how it was in the traditional mythology. So, one more heat. Guys have to be patient with the heat. It takes a while because it's a bit thick. It's not super thin like how it started out, but it, you know, it works the opposite way now because it, it heats up slower because it's now thicker. Uh, while in my previous projects, usually it gets thinner when I bash it rather than thicker. But this is like upsetting from a bar, and when you're squishing on the edges of any bar, it'll turn towards square, which is going to be thicker. Right, it's ready. Ready enough. Stick it in the vise. Put it down as low as you can. <coughs> then you hit down. I'll just flatten this off screen, one sec. So there you have it. A Mjolnir pendant and that's just how you make the rough shape I can definitely make it look much better I'm just gonna go and refine the edges off screen shine it up a bit and make the very end just a little bit thin and maybe create like a little ring so I can actually maybe put hold on a necklace but that's what it is yeah one side's a bit off kind of leans but I'll fix that this is just a rough exercise on how to forge one from a bar too remember this used to be a thin bar and now look at it so there you go anyway i'll see you guys soon